Hey girl. My beautiful Cancer, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your July weekly horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading today, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Cancer, which cards resonate and how they do, darling, because that is how we keep up with y'all is through these comments. Also, if you do enjoy this reading today, Cancer, I would enjoy if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. Honey, even if you just enjoy my vibe, honey, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe. But, um, um, remember to use your intuition when it comes to receiving this weekly horoscope reading for you today, uh, Cancer, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I believe the cards are just here to tell you some perspective, some food for thought to give you for today, but never making the choices in your life. So with all that being said, let's just get into your weekly horoscope reading for July, uh, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. I pulled a animal card to see what's going to be going on uh, for you, just a general vibe of things, Cancer. So you have the dolphin spirit, number two. I believe some of you Cancers probably would identify with the dolphin's uh, totem uh, pretty strongly, just because that's I keep on seeing the totem coming in uh, in my mind very heavily. This card says, this, this is the first time actually I think I've seen this card. Uh, anyways, uh, Cancer, this card says, this and that are true. So there's kind of a situation where uh, cancer, there's no really wrong side. There's no wrong, wrong uh, way of doing this situation, uh, this thing that you have been contemplating. So let's get a little bit more detail, see if we can get a little bit more insight on what exactly this is talking about now, Cancer. This card came flying out, the Strength card. So you guys have been doing a lot of healing this week, Cancer, probably for a while. Um, and you guys have just been in this place of trying to make sense of things, probably. You've been in this place of being like, well, why did they do this? Why did this happen? How did I do something wrong? Uh, Cancer, I feel like for some of you guys, you need to just be told to let it go, right? Some of you guys are being a little bit too obsessive with trying to pan out, get all the details on things, trying to figure things out to like a molecular level cancer and it just isn't healthy it's one of those things where you kind of need to just like <sighs> accept things for how they are and accept that humans are humans and just this life is crazy and sometimes not always fair right sometimes this is just one of those things you need to let go of rather than going in those repetitive cycle as the eel represents right here uh cancer um, there's something that you probably I just feel like you've been obsessing over something cancer. I don't know. So uh, Let's see here We have the four of wands reversed the five of pentacles as well as the five of wands in the reverse So this is coming in as a message cancer that you guys are trying to make sense of a situation of where you felt outcasted where you felt like you didn't belong You know, maybe at one point especially with the four of wands here Cancer, you are really associating this for going the long haul, going long term for this, right? You were just in this place of being like, oh yeah, this is going to be made for me. And, you know, something may have happened. I feel like this is kind of even similar to your last week's reading, uh, Cancer. Uh, but, you know, it's almost as if like it started out being a good thing, Cancer, and then it just kind of like turned into something that just wasn't pleasant anymore. It's something that is just like, you know, the more that you, so let's say if this is about a person, the more you fought with this person, or like the more the days that went by this person, you know, you get, the relationship started to deteriorate, you know, more things about them irritated you. You know, if this is about a job situation where you really thought you were going to go like spend years at this job and really invest a lot of time into this job, cancer, uh, it just, you know, I feel like it's just like a natural de deteriorating on something that at one point probably felt very energetically good for you, Cancer, but now you have to just kind of let grow go of it, which really is just a sign of like you've outgrown things, right? You just, uh, this is like a hair, I don't know if y'all can even see it, Cancer. Um, yeah, it just feels like you've outgrown something and so now something that one point was good for your life, it just no longer is, right? Naturally, when you buy some clothes, you're going to just grow out of it at some point uh in some shape or form cancer and that doesn't mean it's a bad thing just because you are growing it doesn't you outgrew something it just means you're growing honey it means you're human it means you're going through progress so uh let's see how this uh week progresses for you cancer let's see here 
we have the canary spirit stepping forward for you guys singing your own song very much so exactly like scorpio in this exact placement as well if you have any scorpio in your chart cancer i want to suggest for you to check out uh, scorpio's weekly reading because literally they got this exact card um, in this exact spot as well and I shuffle this deck like 50 times in between readings because I like to do a little bit of a pre-shuffle while connecting to each zodiac sign's energy so for this to come forward like this either you guys have some strong Scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with a Scorpio that or someone that has Scorpio in their chart cancer singing your own song so this is definitely cancer the sense of like acceptance for how things are but no longer internalizing things for yourself or like putting blame on yourself for things cancer I can't help but feel like some of you guys are internalizing so much about what about what has happened with something and for some reason if you know maybe this is like a trauma response for some of you cancers so where you're just so used to putting the blame on yourself and I feel fine I feel as if rather cancer I need to give you permission and be like hey it's okay for you to not to always take blame for things you know it's not always your fault honey right it's okay to like acknowledge if something did if someone did something wrong to you or if you're being treated unfairly cancer like it's okay for you to you know show your emotions you know i know in society all the time cancer we're like shamed about being vulnerable and there's this sense of verity if this per if a person just professes how they just don't care and all of this but you know vulnerability is an attractive trait and honestly a brave trait so let's see here we have what's going on here the knight of swords the four of pentacles and the six of pentacles all in the upright for you so very positive sign very positive week for you guys cancer um i definitely do feel as if you guys are going to be knight of swords is the, you know this is the card of representing a lot of things happening uh cancer so i'm being shown this sense of where quickly this week you're going to figure out like where to put your focus more of your energy on if you're feeling a little bit lost at this time cancer buckle up honey basically because a lot of action is going to be happening for you this week in terms because i know i have my stock people who watch stocks or who are into stocks my cancers um i would be definitely saying i mean i have nothing just obviously disclaimer honey um i don't know anything about stocks but this would be a very much so like a dynamic of where it's like something kind of crazy happening in terms of stock um, with the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, I always say, is investing in something. Six of Pentacles is a card of, like, you know, checks and balances, darling, keeping things in a nice, natural order. Knight of Swords, as I was saying, just fast forward and movement. So, you know, that's how I would just be perceiving that for myself, Cancer. Um, so, you know, pay attention to stocks this week. I'm not gonna, obviously, I'm not gonna have any type of opinion on what you should do, honey, right? But definitely be a watch if you have any type of investments into something. Um, and you may be seeing some a really good opportunity cancer into investing your stock into something right whether this is an actual stock or whether this is an you know project of some sort cancer or whether it's a person right it's a really good time for you to invest into new things two of swords lets me know though that you're gonna have a little bit of a problem doing this uh cancer uh you probably will be a little bit defensive you probably will you know put it off and be like uh maybe i'll look into this more later on this week oh later on no oh, later on oh tomorrow i'll do it whatever right cancer the thing you need to be watching yourself for this week is your own delays you know you kind of like putting things off and not really making a decision on something i feel like that's going to be your biggest sabotage because ace of pentacles this is a really opportune time for you right now cancer and really normally i would be like um <laughs> be honing in just being on the blunt message but spirit finds the need to like let it be known to you cancer is like no this is a really good week for you cancer you don't need to hear me having like these like these thoughts and opinions or anything it's just like just look at the facts like this is just going to be a good week and that should be in convincing enough for you some of y'all have some pretty sassy spirit guides or ancestors my goodness <laughs> so cancer let's see how this week ends out for you the rhino spear overcoming obstacles so i like this this shows to me, Cancer, that you end up having a very productive week. This shows to me that you don't get stuck, right? You find answers to things quickly. So it also feeds into that narrative of that Knight of Swords from before, of course, right, Cancer? So uh, let's see what clarifiers we can get for this Rhino Spirit. I am proud of you, though, Cancer. This is a week where you 
you probably will be your most productive, whether this is productivity in terms of the workplace or productivity in terms of just your emotional growth and just maturing through all that um, heaviness that we first talked about. Uh, cancer, I like this a lot. Nine of Wands coming in here. This is also a card of just like overcoming obstacles. You're going to feel very empowered by the end of this week, Cancer. Um, so definitely, you know, reading in between the lines of tarot because I was just talking about like those good stocks, finding like good investments uh, throughout the week, Cancer. With this closing out your week, this is still foreshadowing such a positive sign that during your week, like you feel accomplished, right? You're, you know, this is very much so an energy of like uh, having your chest puffed out and feeling proud and be like yeah look what i did right you know if any of y'all have cats uh cancer you know when a cat brings home some dead prey um a dead animal honey they just look so proud of themselves that's very much so how you're gonna look cancer eight of pentacles the high priestess card or no the magician card in the reverse as well as the wheel card so this is with the situation of where you fell on your face at one point with this right you made a bad investment you made a bad stock choice with something in your life maybe you connected with the wrong person or what have you uh cancer it shows to me you learned from your mistakes your eight of pentacles and that's why you're overcoming these obstacles you're you're observing, you're identifying, and you're learning how to constantly just improve yourself and see where it is you can be improving. I said this was the magician, but this is the hanged man in the reverse coming in here. So this is more so, as I was saying, a situation of where it's just like, no longer I feel like you're, it's like you're learning from the mistakes of what you, like investing things that were fruitless at one point, Cancer. It's like you're either learning from your mistakes or whatever these obstacles that you overcome this week, you really identify within yourself of being like, all right, like, I don't know, it feels like you're going to be a lot more in tune and just overall, like, productive is just the word I keep getting. Wheel of Fortune confirms this productivity as well, Cancer, that, you know, the wheels are turning, like, this is the Wheel of Fortune, right? Things, fortune turning into your favor, darling, right? And it's through you overcoming these obstacles, it's through you, you know, just keeping it trucking, darling, because as I was saying, again, Ace of Pentacles, like, you have so many riches, like, this is such an opportune time for you, Cancer, truly. All right, now, Cancer, let's get into your social situations this week. Let's see what's going on socially for my Cancers this week. What's going on for my Cancers this week? And there's social situations. So you guys keep getting birds, similar to uh, Scorpio as well. Uh, 66 equaling to 3 for numerology. That was uh, Scorpio's number that kept popping up as well. And 3 came in twice for this reading for you as well, Cancer. I really stand strongly by the fact that y'all, Cancer, either have some strong Scorpio in your chart or you're around someone that has some strong Scorpio in their chart. Trust in the magic, though. White Raven's spirit. Um, and so this is trusting the process when it comes to some type of uh, situation in your life, social situation in your life, uh, Cancer. Chariot card coming in. It feels almost as if during this week sometime, you're going to be kind of caught off guard by how forward someone's energy is to you, Cancer. So what I would be saying is trusting the process with this. If you start getting yourself in a situation, obviously, like, read the situation, honey, and if it's a sketch situation, it's a sketch situation and run away. But I feel like almost as if this week, Cancer, you guys could be, like, having some type of, like, Almost, I know it sounds so dramatic and fantastical, but just like a mystical interaction with someone, you know, like that cliche of where it's like you find like the love of your life. I'm not saying this is love, honey, let's be clear. Um, you know, you crash into the grocery car and that's how you meet the love of your life. Or, you know, it's just one of those like situations where it's just like, you like look at the situation and be like, man, like how did I end up here? How did I end up having this? Like, what are the chances, right? It feels like there's going to be a connection in your life this week where you're like, what are the chances with this? And I feel like it might even spook you out a little bit. But I mean, judging based off the card so far, like some clarifiers is gonna could change up the message, can't say. But it's almost like spirit telling you to lean into this a little bit deeper. Take it from the back of your deck. All right, honey. So we have the Eight of Wands. We have the Empress card. We have the Judgment card. Powerful, powerful, powerful. So yeah, as I was saying, lean into this further. Spirit is setting up some type of social connection in your life this week, um, Cancer. It's going to be really beautiful for you. You have to just be open to it, receive it. It's going to come in fast. Again, cherry card, a lot of major arcana coming in here for your social situations, Cancer. So definitely big transitions. This is definitely one of those times where a lot of you Cancers are probably going to be experiencing some very pivotal um, or engaging with some very some people that are very 
pivotal in your life in some way, I would say, Cancer. And I feel like, you know, Eight of Wands represents movement as well. Uh, Empress card represents, you know, like all this, Empress card and the Judgment card, this is like this sense here, Cancer. And I even said this in... Um, uh, my TikTok reading where it's like it felt like and during this new moon in Cancer, your moon, new moon Cancer, where it's like some of you guys have been really uh, trying to manifest like your person, whether this is romantically or whether it's just like a best friend, like someone that just understands you, Cancer. And I feel like your answers, your prayers are being told, Cancer. And maybe it's coming in as the shape of a Scorpio, honey, because of how often, like how similar y'all's readings are in terms of like those small details. So yeah. All right, now, Cancer, let's get into your financial situation this week. Let's see what's going on financially for my Cancers. What's going on with their career? What's going on for my Cancers? Let's see here, darling. Taking it from the back of the deck. We have the porcupine spirit coming in here. Number three as well. No, is this three? No, this is four. Uh, porcupine spirit, time for a beginner mind. So adopting a new um, way of doing something, uh, Cancer. Adopting a new, uh, going into like a new, uh, almost similar to the general portion in the sense of like, feeding energy just into new, right? I feel like when it comes to your uh, financial situation, the tower card, yeah, it's doing away with the old. <laughs> tower card, this has been a moment since I've seen a tower card show up. Doing away with the old cancer, this is a really a week of where um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, the way you make your money is going to be shifted uh, drastically. Be careful of your work environment this week. Feels like it, things could be very much so edgy this week, very much so walking on eggshells. Queen of Wands, the Lover's card with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So, uh, Cancer, this week is one of those weeks where it's like, if you're looking for an opportunity to find a reason to start trying to be self-employed or going into something that fulfills you more, this is going to be the week. But I am going to say, if you're not trying to have any type of friction in your work life this week, Cancer, don't do anything new, right? Because this is a week where things just feel a little bit chaotic, where it's just quite literally like landmines are everywhere in terms of where it's like, this is an opportune time for some Cancers to really just make some drastic life changes, um, making big decisions in terms of claiming more responsibility on themselves, right? And so with this type of energy here, just be very careful of your work life if you're trying to keep things sane and consistent there don't you know lay low this week but if you are trying to break out cancer beautiful beautiful week for that <laughs> very beautiful week for you guys so now cancer let's end your reading this week your july horoscope with a positive affirmation card a quote card for y'all to take cancer to go throughout the rest of this week let's see here <clears throat> all right <laughs> this is very similar. This is not the same card, but it's very similar artwork to the Scorpio one as well. Cancer, this is crazy. Anyways, uh, this card says, Attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. So Cancer, this is going to be a week that I feel like... You might be challenged this week. You might be see, experiencing other people projecting their pain, their issues onto you, which is, I mean, not trying to justify it whatsoever. Obviously, it's not right for them to do that. But I feel like Cancer, people have this natural inclination to just connect to you more and just, you know, they feel more off, like, they don't feel like they need to be guarded and that you would understand Cancer. So, you know, people may be projecting their pain and issues onto you. Just don't internalize it, right? That seems to be a consistent message coming in for you cancers where it's like put it in perspective the things that these other people are doing honey whatever it is that they're doing don't internalize it it's just their own issues going on right you know and you just know that you're not the issue cancer so yeah that is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you for the week of july cancer if you enjoyed this reading let me know in the comments below if you'd like to book a personal private reading with me my website is simply velka i have it linked down below along with my website or along rather with my social medias instagram tiktok all those honey are just simply welcome and yeah cancer i really appreciate you allowing me to do this reading for you if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not send them this video maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future cancer i love you so much